I think that the pandemic has、um, exacerbated many of the inequity conditions that exist even before COVID happened, right? And and we do see a surge of of anti Asian、uh, incidents in the United States. And I actually personally encountered one on the subway in Boston.、Uh, someone called me, yeah, Wuhan, and threatened to hurt me. But you know. There were people on the subway, but nobody do anything or say anything. So I was really taken aback. The immigrants,、uh, some of them,、uh, especially Bangladeshi immigrants, who were kind of recent immigrants, they were living in a overcrowded situations,、uh, where you know they take a one bedroom or two bedroom apartments, and they'll be like、uh, maybe eight to ten people living, like you know、uh, multi generational homes. Uh, that itself caused a, a big havoc in the community because we lost、uh, some of our、uh, members. The Asian community has been disproportionately impacted by COVID, from the racism and all the caps to the、uh, health infections, to I mean the death rates,、uh, to unemployment, to business closures. All those,、um, there was a disproportionate impact, and we ended up having to even do a、uh, a report、um, that's on our website because no one believes that Asian Americans were disproportionately impacted. Leading a nonprofit organization and leading、um, uh, a domestic violence shelter, which is a twenty four seven. Response requirement and commitment—that's hard enough without a pandemic, right? So, so the pandemic, and and you add to that the the period of、uh, anti-Asian hate that we've been going through, the period of、uh, race and justice、uh, inequities that we've been trying to address, you know,、um, uh, in in our world. Uh, especially in our country, that has just added additional work and stress.、Um, so it's been a very hard, you know, couple of challenging years.